Hi guys, welcome back to my SSC Mathematics from Zero to Guru. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain how you can perform basic operations involving multiplication on number basis. Last class, you were I explained how you can multiply, how you can add and subtract number on number basis. So the principle is the same with multiplication too, but once you have to, the principle you have to follow is the one I have, I've been repeating since that when you are in a particular base, then the number you must have must not be the base or be a number greater than the base. For example, if you are working in base two, then base two is a binary number composed of number between zero and h. Two, zero and one. So let me give you an example to back it up. Example. So I have one 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 base two multiplied by one zero one base two. So like I've said the other time, is the same thing as your normal multiplication, but what is different here is uh, you have to. Know that you are working in base two and you must not have number that is different from zero and one. Okay, now let us multiply and see what happens. One multiply by one, give me one. One times one, one, one times one, one. You take the second number and don't forget you are going to start here. Zero times one, zero, zero, zero. Then you take the third number, you multiply it by all the number, so then you have one, one, one. And don't forget, after multiplying each of the numbers by the number at the top, what you have to do is to add. And don't forget, we are still working in base two. You must have, you must not have number different from zero and one since it is a binary number. Then one plus zero, one, one, one plus zero plus one. That is two. Uh, you can see that it is not among number you uh, you should expect to be in binary number system. Then you have to convert it to base two. Then you see how many two are you going to see in two? That's one remainder zero. You write the remainder and keep the one. If you had the one plus this one again, you have two again. So which is which is which does not satisfy the I mean a system requirement. So you have to. Convert to base two again. That's one remainder zero. Then you have zero. When you add it with one, you add that's two again. If you convert it again, you have zero. You keep one. So, but the one since you don't have, you have to keep it again. You put it here, and that's your result. So as simple as that. Okay, let me give you another example. So let's say I have number two. Simplify. 2, 3, 1, base 4, 1, 2, 1, base 4. Don't forget, you have to follow the same approach, but what you must note here is you are working in base 4, and you, for working in base 4, you must have number between 0 and what? 0 and 3. You must not have 4 or number greater than 4. If you have a number which is 4 or greater than 4, you have to convert it to base 4. Okay, now, let us start with the multiplication. One times one, one, one times three, three, one times two, two. You, you multiply the second number with them again, then you have two, two times three, six. Am I going to write six? No. Why? Because we are working in base four and I must not have number which is four or greater than four. Then what are you going to do? You confess this to base four. You have to do that by dividing by 4 and write the remainder. How many 4 are we going to see? 6, that's 1, remainder 2. Then you have 2, you keep 1. Then 2 times 2, 4 again, plus 1 you kept, which is 5. So 5 is greater than the requirement, then you have to convert it again. You have 1, remainder 1. Then you have 1, 1 here. I hope I'm communicating. Okay, now you do for the third number, 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 3, 3, 1 times 2, 2. So then immediately after doing that, then you are going to add them together. 
And don't forget, you are still working in base 4. You have to take note of that. You have to take that into account. So you have 1 here. 3 plus 2 is 5. So and don't forget, your num number must not be 4 or number greater than 4. If it is the case, then you have to convert to base 4. And you say, how many 4 are you going to see in 5? 1 remainder 1. Then you write 1. You keep 1. 1 plus 2, 3. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. It's still greater than... I mean, uh, it is it is greater than uh, three. Then you still convert it again. How many four are you going to see? You see, that's one remainder two. You write two, you keep one. One plus one, that's two plus three, five. It is more than it is more than what you supposed to have. So then you are going to convert it again. That's one remainder one. And you have here one plus one, two plus two, four. Don't forget your number must not be the base or number greater than the base. Then you have to convert 4 again to base 4. How many 4 are you going to see in 4? That's 1 remainder 0. You write 0. Since you don't have to, you don't have place to put the remainder again, you put it here. And that's your solution. You can see it is very simple. If I were you, I would just go through this and look at the past question and solve similar questions. If you have any questions, please comment on your uh, comment on the comment box and I'm going to reply you. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend. So far, so good. So memorable. Thanks for listening.